Hi there everyone, Carol from the Crafty Emporium. Um, thank you very much for popping by today. I just wanted to share with you um, these journals. I am going to be filming these two in the next couple of days. Um, I have posted pictures up on Facebook, uh, but I just wanted to show you because the pictures were taken really late at night and so I don't think that they showed them off really to the best um, because of it being so dark. Um, but I am going to be recording these two um, later on in the week and one probably one at the weekend. Um, so that's those two. But today, just put that there. Um, today, sorry, just moving the camera around. I had to manoeuvre it so I could fit them all in. Um, today, I'm going to go through this journal with you that I've made. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, the kit that I've used on this um, is called Spread Your Wings. And this is uh, some of the images from the kit. So as you can see, a lot of turquoise green and some peachy colours. And I wanted to do something just a touch different because it's something that I hadn't done before. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice isn't brilliant today. I just take a slip of me, me brew. Hang on. Oh, it's got a dead flight in it. It's a bit of extra calcium there for me, I suppose. Right. Um, so, yes, I wanted to do something a little bit different with this. So, I actually printed the kit out in sepia. Now, the reason why I did that was because one of the things I've always taught with my embroideries is that sometimes you'll look at a design and you'll think, do you know what, that design's beautiful, but I, I don't like the colours. Now, that wasn't the case in this instance but I've always taught my students that don't always look at something and see it just for purely what it is don't be afraid to play with and experiment with so that's what I did with this kit I experimented and so what I did was I printed my pages out in sepia so I moved all the images across to um, a word document <coughs> excuse me and those that are familiar with Word document will know that you're in the top left hand corner. Um, there's a part that you can click on and it changes the colour of the image. And on there, one of the things that it can change it to is sepia. Okay, so I've prattled on enough about that now. So I, I just want to get straight to the journal. So what I've done here is I've got some um, silk fabric and I added some lace on. So this is just wrapped around to tie it up to hold it in place and once I printed it out in sepia I then remembered that I'd got this wallpaper sample um, and it's got I don't know whether you'll be able to see in this light but it's metallic um, on the background and it's sort of coppery tone so I've tried to go coppery brown sepia-ish and then what I've done then is I've used hints of the kit to add a hint of colour to it so sort of like the butterflies and stuff just to add that little bit of extra va va vroom so wallpaper for there I've called it journal because it is um, I've added lace on the spine here and this part is embossed um, and then this part I punched out with one of my uh, punches surprisingly enough and then on the back it's exactly the same as the front minus the butterflies so let's go to the inside oh i forgot to make a note of uh johanna johanna clough i think i think it was johanna clough um i could be wrong though i watched one of her youtube videos and she did this which is a little bit like the franken pages but a little bit more organized so these were squares with from which i use from my leftover papers attach them to a background piece of card stitch them vertically and horizontally and then run it through um, an embossing folder on my big shot and then just lightly rubbed over the top um some of the tim holtz um 
come on what's the word i know you're shouting at me anyway tim holtz pad ink pad um so i used those as pockets because as i say it was the leftover bit so it kind of tied it all together and then in the pocket i've printed as i say i printed off some of the pages in their actual color um so that you've got those as a hint of color throughout this was one of the pages and this was part of the page and so I printed it off in its true colour form and then glued it on as a pocket and then again added inside just part of one of the images to add that little bit of colour. I used the yeah, I used the same lace throughout. So it's been a while since I actually did this one. So it'll be a reminder to myself as I go through it. So here um, I added a little bit of a, a paper a paper ruffle, a silk ruffle, fabric ruffle, and I attached the ruffle to a piece of card, then stuck the card on so that it now acts as a tuck spot, and then added a butterfly on the top. And then on some pearlized card, which you probably won't see that this is pearlized, um, but I embossed um, a butterfly sort of scene on there and made it as an extra large tag, which then just tucks comfortably just underneath that little spot. I need a paper bag here. And then inside the back, I've got some journaling cards and this one flips open so that you can write on both sides. So that's those in there. This was an image of a page that I'd already got in my stash. This is another one of the pages that I printed out in the sepia. And then just to add that little bit of something, I printed out the butterfly in colour and attached it at the top there. Another one of the pages turned into sepia with that little baby girl in the background. Again, some paper that I'd already got. Here I added a pearlized envelope um, and made it into a pocket so that I attached one of the sayings on the front so that in itself becomes a tuck spot. And I've done a small, medium and a larger tag to go in the front there. Come on girls, play along nicely. And again, did some embossing on the front of that, of the butterfly image again. I'd got this um, tracing paper with butterflies printed on it, so I've attached that on the front of the envelope and then inside of there, again, one of the images printed in sepia and I made it into a little pocket so that you can tuck stuff in there. So it's a pocket within a pocket with a pocket on the front of it. <laughs> oh, love a bit of a pocket. <laughs> And then obviously made another pocket by cutting the end of the envelope open. And again, another one of the pages printed out in sepia. I'm not going to open it up because you'll see this page itself in a bit anyway. Did I put... No, I didn't put anything else in there. Okay, and then on the other side, I printed one of the little corners off as a pocket. As <laughs> a pocket. Um, a little tuck spot, corner tuck spot. Uh, printed one of the cards out this one was actually from the autumn kit uh, and again the colors kind of tied in so I pinched that from my previous stash of that um, piece of paper that I got left over got it into a ticket so put that in there it's another one of the pages again that I printed out into sepia and then on this page here I'm just going to take this out because I don't know whether you'll be able to see this. I've got this fine metallic mesh. Um, can't remember where I got that. Can't remember what it is. But because of it having gold tints in it, I just thought it went in really nicely. Um, so that ended up being a pocket there. Uh, another one of the, the cards printed out in sepia. And then... Again, this was a, another card from the Autumn Kit. So that goes in there. This was part of the, the kit as well, but as you can see, I printed that one out in colour. This one I printed out in sepia. And then I made a little, made my own little grease proof bag pocket with a little card in it, if it'll come out. Come on, out you come. Again, with some leftover card, and that's printed in the actual colour. 
from the kiss and then two of the tickets which are printed out in the sepia as well and added some peach ribbon so that that acted as the highlight for the colour. I just thought that printing it out in sepia gave it a bit more of a vintage look about it. Another page that I printed out in the sepia got lines on, got some lined paper here. So lots and lots of room for journaling in this book. Here I just cut out one of the butterflies to again add that extra bit of colour. Little mini coffee dyed tag in there. And then here I did some double flip tag pockets and you'll see the reverse of those on the opposite side. Hang on, slip tea needed, sorry. I've got to keep my throat lubricated. Here we go. <clears throat> so I did this from vintage music papers because I've got three uh, vintage books uh, of music paper. So I use one of the sheets from there. And then inside of there, there's one of the cards that was printed out in colour. And as you can see, I put a couple of buttons on the front and tied those with gold thread. Um, put some uh, rings on and used the, 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 the ribbon, <laughs> seam binding, uh, on the ends. And then on the back of the page, I did a pocket and did a tag and printed those off in the sepia two and uh, up the top on this one that's that little baby girl again and on the back another little pocket with another tag in printed in the sepia on this one i made a belly band out of the saying and then i'd got these little printed out uh, flowers so I partly coloured that in with a little bit of uh, one of my um, because with an S pens. <gasps> Do you know? I'm sure I'm getting senile dementia. Now. I can't remember words. Spectrum, Spectrum Noir pens, um, and then that then acts as the tuck spot to prevent these from falling down. And. So here I punched out a butterfly, added a gold sequin, stitched the pockets on the front of the card and then added the tag there so that that can sit underneath there and tuck behind the flower. And then I left the wings of the butterfly over the top of the flower so it looked as though it was flying off from the flower. Sorry, I'm just moving round. <laughs> My leg's gone to sleep. And then one of the pages from the kit, again it's a flip up, flip down job eight so that was printed in the colour as well to just give it a hint of the colour so this was one of the pages um and it's got a big butterfly on it so i just cut it out oh sorry big wagon going by um and i just painted with some of the inks that i've got that are slightly pearlized but cut that out so that now forms a pocket and then i attached the page to a piece of card stitched it on so that's a little flip did another journaling card with embossed butterflies on it and i did that on pearlized card and then with some of the leftover wallpaper i made this big tag but made it into a booklet and i did it on this dark brown pearlized card i don't know whether you'll see that so that you've got a tag booklet there Some tracing paper with the butterflies on and then this was the page that I said that I would show you later on um, so the page itself I got this big butterfly imprinted in the center of the page and so I printed it off three times and cut the butterflies out um, and layered them so that you've got them as little flips that you can now write on the back of those butterflies but it just makes it a little bit of a an interesting center and then in the center where the threads all meet where i stitched the signature in place it reads never hide your wings which i thought was quite apt for that page the tracing paper again and this one has got some gold braid stitched onto the edge of the paper this is another one of the images from the kit that i printed out in full color 
again just to add that hint of colour to the sepia to just break up the monotony of those colours. On this page here I did this paper clip with this butterfly on and so that this page is now it flips open this way and it flips open that way as well so again plenty of room for journaling on there and then that's just to keep it in place so it doesn't keep flopping open another page that i printed in sepia together with this image as well which i then cut out and stuck on top of there so that it's a corner pocket I then made another pocket with another one of the images, stitched it onto some of the brown card, printed an image off in the colour, and then that sits in there. And then to add the hint of colour to the page, I printed off one of the tags in its original colour as well. This is the other side of those music paper tags. Um, and as you can see, I added a pocket on here and here from the kit, and then I got this um, lovely die to print out uh, to cut out these images here. Um, so it's a, a lacy effect die, but I've left it so that you can swing it. So that if you wanted to write in a white pen or silver pen or gold pen underneath, then you can do. But I just thought that that added a little bit of colour interest as well as decorative interest there. And that flops open and on the other side there's the proper pocket and there's the journaling card that I put in there that's in the original colours of the kit and the same with this bottom one as well so here I made a belly band um, stuck a, one of the butterflies on from the kit and then stuck a load of sequins on did two uh, golden uh, orangey burnt orange um, pearlized buttons top and bottom and then did one of the big cards there as a journaling card to sit underneath that I cut out the saying again and stuck it on this time in the bottom corner so it now acts as a bit of a, a corner tuck added a couple of buttons, made a little tag, put a butterfly on it and that's the colour interest on that page. Here I cut out one of the butterflies again and just stuck it on here on each side of the wings so that we can now insert something actually all the way through really the butterfly. But then I made this little envelope, did some embossing on it, put a, a punched out butterfly on the back and then inside and did just a piece of card and then this is the other envelope the other side of the envelope because what I did was I stuck two envelopes together to be able to have one in on each side so same again the saying something tucked behind it the pocket made from the tracing paper things inside that tracing paper pocket then inside the envelope where I cut it at the end in there I have another card this was also from the autumn kit and then this is another one of those papers that you just fold to make it look like an envelope <coughs> pocket on the back of there another journaling card and then I did a similar thing as I did at the front um, where I just added a little bit of ruffled um, but this time that, that paper, that go uh, gauzy gold stuff that I said I didn't know what it was um, so I did a ruffle with that and added that on so that that's a, a little tiny tuck spot um, did another large tag with the embossing on it um, so I've left some things fairly plain so that if you want to have a play, um, whoever buys this, um, if you want to have a play and add other things to it, then you have the opportunity to do so. The, the worst thing about receiving a journal that is totally decorated is it leaves you no room to sort of 
add some of your own bits and pieces, your own personality to it, I suppose. Uh, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because not everyone wants to do that. But sometimes you might just want to add a little something. Um, and so sometimes leaving them a little bit plainer allows you to do that. Um, here on the bottom, this was a page that I cut up. Um, the butterfly was on there, so I cut along the page and then cut out the shape of the butterfly so that that makes the pocket. And it has the verse on it that reads, Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. And my washing machine's going to go really loud in a second, so I hope I can get this done before, I fin before that starts. That's one of the colour images. Um, from the kit and again I cut that out but then cut out the butterfly shape so it just adds that extra little bit of interest in that corner and again that's another one of the pages that folds open like an envelope so that can tuck behind there paper bag with another little pocket so another pocket within a pocket come on in you go There we go and then the other thing that I wanted to try as well was actually not printing onto fabric because I've done that before um, and I did that many many moons ago um, but I actually wanted to have a go at stitching this onto linen because this then is the sort of thing that you could then embroider on um, so because you've got the the definite outline shape of the colors um, and the butterfly itself and even some of the background bits you could actually do some embroidery on there if you so wanted some counted stitch embroidery like cross stitch and in fact you'll see across the top here I actually did do a cross stitch border across the top and then added some buttons there but that acts as a little flip up on that page and then that's the back page and then that goes to those pockets I'm sure it was Johanna that did these but I'll have a look and see if I can find out for sure uh, and then in the pocket itself if I can get it to open come on, is uh, another one of the pages printed out in its true colour um, again to just add that hint of colour to it so that's my spread your wings journal so I hope that you found that a little bit inspirational in terms of it was different from the normal kit and it's all right to do that and it's all right to experiment and have a little bit of a play um, because at the end of the, the day this creating these is all about um, having fun and enjoying yourself so thank you very much as I say for popping by again um, and for looking at my journal um, using the kit by Calico Collage called Spread Your Wings okay I'm off now to go and drink the rest of my brew and uh, I'll see you later on because I'm going to do them with the two videos now so yeah draw.